Hey, what's up everybody? Today, me and Kim and the Sam Dog have my dad along with us. And we're on Maryland's Eastern Shore crabbing. We're, uh, we're in our secret spot. We typically do really good here. As you can tell, today it was raining. We were in between storms. So um, we weren't able to stay out as long as we normally like. So in the state of Maryland, you are allowed to have no more than 30 traps or no fewer than 10. So we laid 15 traps on either side of the creek. We typically lay this way to see what side's doing better and then we can move all the traps to one side or the other. With the way the weather was today, we just kept the traps separated on the both sides of the creek. We didn't want to risk pulling in one side and have a storm come through and not have our traps out. So for this outing, we were using chicken necks for bait. You can use salted eel, you can use razor clams, or you can even use fish. A lot of times we'll catch white perch and then cut them in half and put half in into the crab trap. The traps that we use have a spring in the bottom so it actually holds your bait into place. Makes it real easy to bait up and to unbait at the end of the day. Even though it was raining all day, it was still fun to have my dad out with us. And you can tell, Sam Dog, she was loving it. She just laid back next to my dad. Every time it would rain though, she would try and crawl under his legs because she doesn't like getting wet. At least not from the rain. She likes to go swimming and play in the water. She just doesn't like the rain coming down on her. After about two hours of being rained on, we were getting ready to head in. And then we checked the radar and 
it seemed that there was a few really big storms headed our way. So we made our one last run and we pulled the traps in. We also called through and threw all the small ones back to make sure that everything that we brought home was a legal size crab. back and before we cook them so what you want to do is, is take your crabs and put them in a cooler then you want to put ice on them and what the ice does is it uh, it makes it more humane to cook them because they'll be numb and you're not just throwing live crabs into a pot and steaming them so uh, this is a more humane way to dispatch the crabs before you cook them. So we get some ice into the cooler. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go get cleaned up and um, when we come back, we'll, uh, I'll show you how I steam my crabs. Okay, here's how we steam our crabs. Four cups of white distilled vinegar. Three cups of water. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is just layer your crabs in there. Bay on them, or J.O. or whatever kind of seasoning you want to use. And you'll keep laying them in. And add Old Bay. So then what we like to do is actually put corn in. Add a little bit more obey to the corn. And then continue to layer your crabs. So these crabs have been sitting in ice. So I don't mind just reaching in and grabbing them. Okay. So I'm going to keep building this up to the top, fill my pot, start my fire, and then let them cook for 20 minutes. Once they turn red, which I'll show you once they're done, you know they're finished. So I'm going to, I'll keep filling this up and we'll get them cooking.
we'll let them cook for 20 minutes. I'll come back out, check them periodically, and uh, make sure that they turn red, and then um, we'll show you guys how to clean them and pick them. Okay, as you can see, that pot is steaming. You can smell them cooking. You can smell the Old Bay and vinegar. The greatest smell there is. All right, let's check them. It's been 20 minutes. And that is what a blue crab is supposed to look like when it's cooked correctly. All right, let me get these out of here and cool down a little bit. Then we'll be back in the kitchen and eat them. All right, everybody, here is how to pick a blue crab. So, first of all, you want to take the apron off. So you can do this one of two ways. You can do it with a knife. And pop it up and rip it off or you can pull off one of these fins sticking under so pull this off put your thumb on on the back fin and grab the shell and peel it off so right here are the lungs you want to remove those so again you can either do it with your hand or with a knife. But you want to get them off of there. And then peel the front off. Okay. Grab a claw. Peel it off. Now the back fin should then take it you can break it in half. Okay? So now we have two halves. Grab your back fin and pinch it. And try and pull that meat out. That is all lump crab meat right there. Mmm. Delicious. Take every one of the legs off. And sometimes you can do the exact same thing, get the meat. All right. So now we have half the crab. Take your knife, or you can break it in half, but cut it in half. Peel it open. And then that is all meat. Then just start digging the meat out of the shell. You can take your knife, dig it out, or just dig it out with your fingers. Okay. So my family being from the Eastern Shore of Maryland, they actually dig, there's meat inside each one of these little fins, and they will dig every piece of that meat out. Me, I'm actually too lazy, I won't do it. Okay, so how to eat a claw. You have two chunks of meat. There's a chunk of meat in the front and a chunk of meat in the back. Take your knife, take your mallet. Actually, you can just take your mallet. Crack it. And then it should just break apart. Oop. Peel all that apart, take your knife, and pull the meat out of the claw. Do the same thing with the back side. Crack it. I didn't hit that one hard enough. Peel that meat out. And there you have it. That's how to cook and clean Chesapeake Bay blue crab.